hello. I'm, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. Now, I am a U.S. citizen, and from time to time, I will talk about something going on in America. And recently, unless you've been living under a rock, there has been something going on in America. Of course, I'm talking about what's going on in Ferguson after the decision came out to not indict uh, officer Darren Wilson the situation in Ferguson exploded into a riot the protest took a very different tone a very different direction and a riot is a riot number one there's nothing pretty about it and it's not a bed of roses just put it lightly but yet you know I've noticed there's people out there who tend to not understand what creates a riot what makes people completely lose their shit and go off and say I don't give a damn anymore burn it all the fucking ground man had enough they seem to think that when you are experiencing for decades upon decades oppression abuse outright murder of an entire group of people that you're not supposed to get violent never you're not supposed to go off and lose your shit ever it's unacceptable you're not supposed to finally say I've had enough of all of this of everything around me the entire system and a structure that supports it. You're supposed to continue to sit there and say, please don't kill us anymore. Please don't beat us. Please don't oppress us. Please don't treat us like we don't exist. Please don't treat us like we're dirt. We'll hold up a sign. Can you see? Please listen. That's what you're supposed to continue to do until the end of time and somehow some way those who are doing those things to those people will magically see the light of day and go oh well you're right oh we're gonna change now it doesn't work that way it does not work that way so I'm not gonna damn the people in Ferguson for what they're doing Hell, I'm surprised it's taken this long. Really. And then, you know, we have these same people who are damning people in Ferguson for what's going on. Point out a few unfortunate incidences that happened in Ferguson recently and say, see, you look, see, 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 they're but violent, evil looters. There's thugs. There's breaking stuff and hurting people just because of the excuse. I can't support that. You're full of shit. Let me explain. Now I've seen some of the things that these types are pointing out. And these are incidences that happen every day in America. But because it's Ferguson, and because of what's ha currently happening in Ferguson, you want to connect that to this is happening just because there's a riot, and just because people are saying fuck this and getting violent. No. You're wrong. The things you're pointing out, like I said, happen every day in America. But you don't notice it any other day, any other time, any other situation. You notice it now. Really? You know? Really? That's something to think about. The people in Ferguson, hell yeah, have no rights to be doing what they're doing right now. It's only, the only option they have left. They've tried everything. They've tried your way of being nice about it. While the enemy keeps treating them like shit. Keeps stomping on them. So then they realize, well, your way isn't getting anything done. Now it's time to get mean. The same way that the enemy is mean to us. So, let's see. What happens now? 
That's how long it takes. For these rotten cops, rotten capitalist system in America to wake up. We'll see. So just something to think about. And until next time, this is me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo. Check it out.